Manita is a subversive masterpiece. But you may be wondering, how did it subvert my expectations? Well, I expected it to be good. <laughs> Manita, Manita is a uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good game. You know, you know, it's uh, it's quite clearly copies uh, Jaws Unleashed because you know, like you see, uh, you, you gotta you gotta be a shark and you, and and you can swim. But seriously, Manita is one of the most fun games I've played in quite a while. It's essentially just GTA with sharks. Totinos, Totinos, hot pizza rolls. The plot is simple. There's basically next to no one. Uh, you play as an adult bull shark who's had a few too many Rice Krispies treats because you're raging. raging and you need to kill everyone. Obviously, this raises your wanted level to five stars and the Los Angeles PD show up. Ooh. Now you're dead. You're fucking dead. You're gone. You never get to place that shark again. That was your one and only chance and you failed. But plot twist, the shark you just played as was just the tutorial, so don't stop. Stop fucking freaking out! Now you get to place this adorable little thing. Aww, aren't you just the cutest? Ah! You're determined to get revenge on Scaly Pete. Not because he killed your mom, but because he uses Tesco broadband. Totinos, Totinos, hot pizza rolls. You eat. The actual gameplay is essentially just that. You swim and you eat. But there is more to this shark's arsenal than just that. You can dodge, tail whip, spin, pick up bombs and fucking throw them. Leap, double leap, triple leap. Look at it. The grace. The beauty, the elegance, a masterpiece. Also, depending on how you customize your shark's body, you get a special power, such as being able to charge, electrocute, and even poison people. Oh, did I forget to mention? You're not just a shark, you're a super shark. What's your power? You gain the ability to fuck people up even better. But shithead, how do I gain these abilities, you might be wondering. Well, you gain the bone armor by killing the apex predators in each area. You gain the electricity shit and it really is shit by killing the hunters, not because you have 5 stars, but because they've committed mass tax fraud and you're the FBI. You get the edgy armor by finding all the landmarks in an area. The landmarks are, what I would say, the best part of the game. They're just easter eggs, but you get shit for finding them. Not only that, but Jerry from Rick and Morty talks about the ones you found, which is just amazing. If only someone had done their 6th grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided. Jerry narrates the entire game as the whole theming of the game is a satirized version of those stupid reality shows you can find on National Geographic like Mountain Men or Alaska's Last Frontier or fucking Hunting Bigfoot. This game is good fun and I think this is proven by the fact that I 100% the game and have spent over 20 hours on it. Obviously, it's not going to be winning any awards anytime soon, but it's still one of the most consistently entertaining games I would say I've played in a long while, but it's definitely not up there with legendary games such as Finding Nemo for the PlayStation 2. Swim for all the rings!